Hello children, welcome back to today's session. Today you can learn a new chapter, Algebra. Already you learned about arithmetic and geometry. Arithmetic means study of numbers and geometry is the study of shapes. Here you need to study about variables also. Numbers, variables and four operations. Together you need to understand in this chapter. Okay, so we can start algebra. So first of all you need to learn about a variable. What is a variable? The word meaning itself is varying. So variable. Variables means usually we are using the English alphabets. Small letter English alphabets we are using to represent a variable. So it may be small letters H, Y, Z, otherwise A, B, C, P, Q, R, M, N, any English alphabets, small letters we can use to represent a variable. Then all of you know what is a constant. Constant means it has a fixed value. So 5, 5 is a constant. Its value is 5 itself. And then 2, 2 is another constant. Its value is 2 itself. But in the case of variable, it has no fixed value. Okay. According to the situation, the value may change. That is variable. Then for operations, all of you are familiar. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So variable, constant, any one of the four operations. Together we can form an algebraic expression. Okay. What is an algebraic expression? Variables, constants and any one of the four operations. For example, we can take x plus 5 equal to 15. This is an algebraic equation. Okay. If there is an equal to sign, we can say that it is an equation. If we are writing 2y plus 3, then this is an algebraic expression. If there is an equal to sign, we can say that it is an equation. So here, y is a variable, 2 and 3 are known as constants. Here, x is a variable, 5 and 15 are constants. And here, what is the operation we used? It is addition. Here also, we used addition. Another example is 10a equal to 70. This is also an equation. Here, variable is a. Okay. Then, what is the value of an equation? Value of an equation means that this left hand side and right hand side must be equal. Then, we can say that that number is the value of the variable. So, for example, x plus 5 equal to 15. In this case, if LHS is equal to RHS, what value we can given to this x that is value of the variable so all of you know 5 plus 10 is 58 isn't it so here the value of x is 10 because 10 plus 5 equal to 50 then only LHS and RHS must be equal so this is known as value of the equation or solution of the equation this is Solution. This is known as equation. Okay. So in this case 10a equal to 70. So which number we multiplied to get 70? 10 into 7. 10 7s are 70. So here the value of a is 7. 10 into 7 equal to 70. Okay. So now we studied about the variable, constant, algebraic expression, equation, solution and the value of the variable. Okay. Now we can do some problems using this topic. Okay. Here some statements are given. We need to convert this statement into an expression. 
okay so first statement is 12 subtracted from z so here the operation is subtraction and the variable is z and the constant is 12 so how to write this as an expression 12 subtracted from z from z so we need to write a z first then from z 12 subtracted so it is z minus 12 okay then 25 added to r so here the operation is addition addition either r or 25 anyway we can write first but in the case of subtraction you need to write them from z means z itself you need to write first 25 added to r means 25 plus r or r plus 25 both are correct p multiplied by 16 here it is multiplication so usually we are writing p multiplied by 16 means p into 16 itself but here we need to write the constant first and we don't need to use this multiplication symbol directly we can write 16p okay in the higher classes we need to use this way so p multiplied by 16 is p into 16 itself but a usual way of writing is 16 p constant first variable second no need to use this into multiplication symbol then y divided by 8 that is y divided by 8 itself then m multiplied by minus 9 m multiplied by minus 9 means m into minus 9 here like this itself but a negative symbol also there. so you need to write a negative first number second variable third so minus 9 m such a way you need to write in the case of multiplication with a negative numbers negative symbol first then number and variable so minus 9m is the expression here this two are the y multiplied by 10 that now you studied y multiplied by 10 is y into 10 that we can write as 10y correct no y multiplied by 10 is y into 10 that is same as 10y and and then 7 added to the product product means this is 10y is the product multiplication usually we are saying product so 10y is the product to this product 7 is added okay y multiplied by 10 that is 10y and then 7 is added to the product product is 10y we can add 7 so 10y plus 7 is the required expression here also n multiplied by 2 n multiplied by 2 means n into 2 that all of you know it is 2n n multiplied by 2 is 2n and one subtracted from the product product is 2n which number we need to subtract one one subtracted from the product so the expression is 2n minus 1 i hope all this uh, state how to convert a statement to an expression that is clear some more expressions we can discuss now 11 added to 2m that is addition so 11 added to 2m means either you can write 2m plus 11 or 11 plus 2m both are correct 11 added to 2m then second question 11 subtracted from 2m so from 2m we need to write 2m first from 2m you need to subtract 11 so the expression is 2m minus 11 then see question 5 times y 5 times y means it is multiplication so 5 times y is 5y to which 3 is added so here the operation is addition 5 times y to which 3 is added so 5y plus 3 is the expression then d question 5 times 
y from which 3 is subtracted. 5 times y is 5y from which. So from this product we need to subtract 3. 3 is subtracted. 5 times y, 5y from which 3 is subtracted minus 3. Then last question. Y is multiplied by 5 and the result is subtracted from 16. Okay. So y is multiplied by 5 means 5y. The result is subtracted from 16 means 16 you need to write. From 16 you need to subtract y multiplied by 5. y multiplied by 5 is 5y. So 16 minus 5y is the required expression. Okay. Next we can discuss about a solution of an equation. I already explained though what is solution of an equation. If the LHS and RHS are equal, then the value of the variable is known as solution of the equation. So here some options also given there in the bracket. And from that option you need to select which is the solution of the equation. So otherwise you can use trial and error method. Trial and error method means you can give any value to this variable. Okay. Without any uh, uh, restrictions, you can give either we can give 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Randomly, we can select the numbers. At last, uh, you will get uh, the value of the variable. That is trial and error method. Here, already options are given. That's why we can take uh, these numbers itself. So, first question is 5m equal to 60. 5m equal to 60. So, what will be the value of m to satisfy this equation? That is known as solution of an equation. So, first option is 10. So, we can substitute the value of 10 here. So, instead of m, we can write LHS means left hand side. This is RHS. So, left hand side is 5m. Here, we are going to substitute the value as 10. So, 5 times are 50. This is not equal to RHS because RHS is 60 given. So, 10 is not the solution. Then, next option is 5. So, 5m equal to 5 into 5. All of you know 5, 5s are 25. So, this is also not a solution of the equation. Then what is next term? It is 12. So we can substitute 12 here. 5 into 12. What is the value of 5 into 12? It is 60. So it is same as the RHS. So we can say that 12 is the solution of this equation. Okay. So this way you can select, you can take the numbers and substitute here in the place of variable then if LHS and RHS are equal we can say that uh, that is the solution of the equation. Then next question n plus 2 equal to 20. The options given are n plus 12 equal to 20. First we can substitute uh, 12. So, LHS equal to, instead of N, we can give 12 plus 12, but it is 24. So, this is not equal to RHS. Next option is 8. So, we can give, instead of N, we can write 8. 8 plus 10, 12 equal to 20. So, this is same as RHS. So, no need to do other numbers. We can select 8 as the answer. 8 plus 12 is 20. So the solution of this equation is 8 itself. Then C question. P minus 5 equal to 5. So in the case, in the place P, we can use these numbers. First we can take a 0. So, LHS equal to P minus 5 equal to 0 minus 5. Already you studied integers. So, its answer is negative 5. It is not equal to plus 5. So, 
so it is not equal to RHS. Then we can take the next number it is 10. So P minus 5 equal to 10 minus 5 equal to 5. So it is equal to RHS. So the value of the variable, value of the variable is 10 here. 10 minus 5 equal to 5. Okay. So last question it is Q by 2 equal to Z. Q by 2 equal to 7. This is the question. So first we can give 7. LHS equal to Q by 2 equal to 7 by 2. 7 by 2 is not equal to 7. That is not equal to RHS. Okay. Then we can take the next option. It is 2. So instead of Q we can write 2. 2 by 2 which is equal to 1. It is not equal to RHS. Then what is next option? It is 10. We can take 10 here. 10 by 2 is 5. This is also not equal to RHS. Then last option is 14. So instead of Q we can write 14 by 2. All of you know 14 by 2 is 7. This is equal to RHS. So, our option 14 is the solution of this equation. So, this way you can select the solution of an equation. I hope all of you understood. So, today we discussed about algebraic expression, solution and equation. Thank you.